Nestled in the realm of automotive rarities lies a Ford truck so elusive that it's often overlooked even by avid enthusiasts. Its origins trace back to the distant lands of South Africa, a market far removed from the American roads where Ford's presence reigns supreme. This truck, virtually unheard of across the United States, stands as a testament to exclusivity, a gem coveted by collectors worldwide. Yet, it's not alone in its rarity. Join us as we unravel the mystique of not just one, but a handful of ultra-rare Ford pickups, each embodying the dreams of collectors and aficionados alike. At the forefront of this lineup sits the Ford Bantam, a diminutive yet fascinating creation tailored exclusively for the South African market. Its unique stature and purpose render encounters outside its native territory a rare occurrence, adding to its allure. Throughout its evolution, spanning three distinct iterations, the Bantam has carved a niche for itself, blending the robustness of a workhorse with the versatility of a personal vehicle. Though its production ceased in 2011, whispers of a potential resurrection tantalize enthusiasts, keeping the Bantam's legacy alive. Despite its relative obscurity, the Bantam boasts a repertoire of features that rival its more ubiquitous counterparts. From its compact dimensions to its fuel-efficient engine options, this rare pickup exudes charm and practicality in equal measure. Its monococca construction not only simplifies manufacturing but also enhances maneuverability, making it equally adept at navigating work sites and city streets. Equipped with creature comforts ranging from electric mirrors to air conditioning, the Bantam ensures that its lucky owners enjoy both utility and comfort in their journeys. In the realm of automotive rarities, the Ford Bantam stands as a shining example of exclusivity and innovation. Its journey from the shores of South Africa to the hearts of collectors worldwide is a testament to Ford's enduring legacy of craftsmanship and ingenuity. As whispers of its revival linger in the air, one thing remains certain the allure of the Bantam transcends borders, embodying the dreams of enthusiasts and collectors alike. Despite its rarity, the Ford Bantam is just one of many pickups by the company that have quietly slipped under the radar. Similarly, the Ford Pampa, our next contender at number three, shares this trait. There's a pattern emerging among these pickups as the Pampa, much like the Bantam, was primarily marketed for a specific region. In this instance, that region was Brazil. Crafted from 1982 to 1997, the Pampa epitomized the concept of a sleek coupe utility pickup, drawing inspiration from Ford's Corcel and Delray models. It swiftly ascended to become Brazil's top-selling coupe utility reigning supreme until the introduction of the Ford Courier, a Fiesta-based pickup, in 1982. The Pampa marked Ford's entrance as the second contender in this segment, trailing Fiat's Fiorino, rooted in the Fiat 147 platform. There's something undeniably distinctive about this pickup. Even its name, Pampa, conjures images of robustness akin to a sturdy horse, fitting for this formidable vehicle. Unlike its Fiat counterpart, the Pampa blended rugged aesthetics with a comfortable car-like cabin and a generously spacious cargo area reminiscent of American-style F-100 pickups from the era. Another distinguishing feature was its choice of a rigid rear axle and semi-elliptical springs, tailored for heavy loads, setting it apart from Fiat's offerings. This decision enhanced the Pampa's capability for hauling payloads of up to 1,367 pounds, under the hood, it shared the dependable 1.6-liter engine and manual gearbox of the Corcel, finely tuned with a differential ratio of 1 to 4. With a front suspension borrowed from the Corcel but reinforced to handle heavier loads, the Pampa delivered consistent performance. Its 1.6-liter engine generated 66 horsepower on gasoline and 69 horsepower on alcohol fuel, propelling it to a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Positioned behind the cabin, the relocated 76-liter fuel tank ensured ample range for extended journeys. Moreover, it boasted creature comforts such as a digital clock, air conditioning, adjustable head restraints, radio and inertia reel seat belts. In summary, the Ford Pampa epitomized the perfect blend of convenience and comfort, solidifying its position as an icon of South American small pickups. Its design refinements, combined with its adaptability and reliable performance, secured its place in automotive history. Its success during its heyday compelled competitors like Volkswagen and Chevrolet to introduce their own similar models, such as the Volkswagen Civro and Chevrolet Chevy 500, in the late 80s. Now turning our attention to another rare gem in Ford's lineup, we encounter the Ford Durango at number 2. The Durango stands out distinctly in the automotive landscape, and its origin story is a major part of its allure. 
Originating as a coupe utility vehicle, it offered snug accommodations for two individuals with Ford Motor Company producing it in limited quantities from 1979 to 1982. The Durango stands out distinctly in the automotive landscape, and its origin story is a major part of its allure. Originating as a coupe utility vehicle, it offered snug accommodations for two individuals, with Ford Motor Company producing it in limited quantities from 1979 to 1982. What sets the Durango apart is its fascinating genesis. Ford collaborated with National Coachworks, a Los Angeles-based company, to bring this unique vehicle into existence. Rather than aiming to create just another typical truck or a successor to the Ford Ranchero, which ceased production in 1979, Ford set its sights on challenging the smaller Chevrolet El Camino. Thus, the Durango was born, destined for Ford dealerships. The inaugural Durango was a labor-intensive project undertaken by Jim Stevenson and his sons at their workshop in Pacoima, California. They painstakingly crafted the body by hand, beginning with the chassis of the Ford Fairmont Futura, a two-door car known for its efficiency. The transformation involved removing the roof and rear seats, replacing them with a flat fiberglass cargo bed positioned directly behind the front seats. Additionally, a new window was installed behind the seats, and the truck's rear underwent a redesign complete with a fold-down tailgate. During that era, the tailgate served as a holder for the license plate and tail lights, although a warning against driving with it down was necessary. Under the hood, the Durango offered just one engine option, a 200 cubic inch inline six, positioned within the Fairmont's lineup. Paired with a three-speed automatic transmission, it delivered respectable performance. Determining the exact production numbers of the Durango is challenging, as neither company maintained detailed records. Estimates suggest that anywhere from around 200 to 350 units were produced, highlighting its rarity. Consequently, the Durango stands as one of the scarcest Ford pickups, with only a handful of these treasures still in existence today. Next up on our list, the Ford Mercury pickup, particularly the M-Series trucks, holds a special place in automotive history. Produced primarily by Ford's Mercury division, these pickups were marketed in Canada from 1947 to 1968. They were known for their ruggedness, reliability, and unique design, making them popular among truck enthusiasts and collectors alike. One notable model in the Mercury pickup lineup is the M-Series, which encompassed various configurations such as the M100, M250, and M350. These trucks featured sturdy construction and powerful engines, making them suitable for a wide range of tasks, from hauling heavy loads to navigating rough terrain. Among the M-Series trucks, the M250 crew cab stands out as a rare gem. With only a handful ever produced, it has become a prized collector's item sought after by enthusiasts. Equipped with a robust V8 engine and boasting a distinctive design, the M250 crew cab embodies the essence of classic American pickups. Despite being discontinued decades ago, the Ford Mercury pickups, particularly the M-Series trucks, continue to hold a special place in the hearts of truck aficionados. Their timeless appeal and historical significance ensure that they remain highly coveted among collectors and enthusiasts of vintage vehicles. The Ford Mercury pickup, particularly the M-Series trucks, is considered rare for several reasons limited production Ford's Mercury division produced the M-Series trucks in relatively small quantities compared to other Ford truck models. This limited production run inherently makes them rarer than their more commonly produced counterparts. Geographic distribution the Mercury pickups, especially the M-Series, were primarily marketed in Canada. As a result, they were less prevalent in other regions contributing to their rarity, particularly in markets like the United States where Ford trucks were more commonly found specific models within the Mercury lineup, certain models, such as the M250 Crew Cab, were produced in even smaller numbers due to their specialized configurations or features. Limited production of these specific models further adds to their rarity. Historical context The era in which the Mercury pickups were produced also plays a role in their rarity. Many of these trucks were manufactured in the mid-20th century and factors such as limited documentation, changes in ownership and natural wear and tear over time have contributed to the scarcity of surviving vehicles. Collectability as time passes, classic vehicles like the Ford Mercury pickups become increasingly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. Many of these trucks have been preserved or restored, further reducing the number of original, unrestored examples available in the market. Overall, a combination of factors including limited production, specific models, geographic distribution, historical context, and increased collectability contributes to the rarity of the Ford Mercury pickup trucks. 
Upon completion of the restoration, Morrison embarked on an unforgettable journey with the truck from Vancouver to the 2023 F100 Grand Nationals in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, clocking about 6,000 miles on the Mercury's odometer. His dedication paid off when the truck was awarded the title of Best Crew Cab of 2023 at the show. In the realm of rare Ford trucks, it's challenging to find one that surpasses the M250 Crew Cab. If you're eager for more truck-related content, be sure to click on the next video.